Feast your eyes, Patrick. What is it? The paddy wagon. How you doing? Host a special? It would be an honor. From Hollywood, California, Inside the Pineapple, with your host, David Hasselhoff. Hello, I'm David Hasselhoff. Welcome to the very special behind-the-scenes look of the making of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Our journey behind the scenes will take us from the stars of Hollywood to the starfish of Bikini Bottom. We're gonna party till we're purple. Yeah, I love being purple! Experience the magic as Sponge meets world through a combination of live action and animation. Go, Hasselhoff! Preview the soundtrack with an amazing lineup of musical artists. It's like it's gonna work, huh? And see an experience. Lose a movie clip you won't see anywhere else. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah! Stay tuned as the journey begins. Hey, I thought you didn't have a driver's license. You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. Giving voice to the citizens of Bikini Bottom brought some of Hollywood's most talented stars to the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, plus some familiar voices from the depths of the sea. My name is Tom Kenny, and I give voice to SpongeBob. Are you crazy? I was just gonna tell you that your fly is down. This movie is very much a journey that SpongeBob and Patrick take to prove that even though they're perceived as being children, <laughs> that despite their lack of experience, they are able to achieve great things. My name is Bill Fagerbacke, and I play Patrick, the starfish. Did you see my underwear? No, Patrick. Did you want to? I play Mr. Crab, SpongeBob's boss. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money! I am Roger Bumpus, and I play Squidward J. Tentacles. He's, uh... Kirk Mudgeon. That's him. Too bad SpongeBob's not here to enjoy SpongeBob not being here. My name is Mr. Lawrence. And I play Plankton. All hail Plankton! All hail! Ow! I think I stepped in something. <laughs> Not in something, on someone, you twit! I play a character named Mindy. She's a mermaid. I'm gonna be queen of the sea one day. She's birdie, SpongeBob. She's very independent, and she's very strong-willed, and she's got a good heart. And she's kind of just like a regular kid, except for she's got tail fins. I won't have you stalling this execution! Stalling? I'm not stalling anything. Yes, you are. You think I'm... Ah, where am I in crazy town? I'll be with my daughter and her friends, and they'll say, is it true that you're in the SpongeBob movie? And I go, yeah, I have a voice in one of the characters. And they say, who do you play? Who do you play? And I go, I play the hitman. Name's Dennis. I've been hired to exterminate you. <laughs> yeah, let's do another one like that. Okay. I play... King Neptune, who is in denial because he has no idea that he's bald. And what does this crown do? Covers your bald spot. It's not bald. It's thinning. Which I don't relate to because I, 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 I've never been bald. Creating a story big enough for SpongeBob's first big screen adventure was a challenge, but one the SquarePants crew was happy to take on. Evil is being perpetrated by Plankton. Plan Z. This Plan Z can't possibly fail! Oh, boy. It's evil. It's diabolical. <laughs> it's lemon-scented. SpongeBob, uh, in this story, needs to retrieve Neptune's crown from a place called Shell City, or Mr. Krabs will die. Mr. Krabs has been framed for this step. Mr. Krabs stole my crown, and now it's in Shell City. That's why he must die. Doesn't it seem a little harsh to kill someone over a crown? You don't understand. My crown is a symbol of my king-like authority. And uh, between you and me, my hair is thinning a bit. Oh, your highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Oh, oh! All right. Uh, King Neptune, sir, 
Would you spare Mr. Krabs' life if I went to get your crown back? Huh? Be back here with my crown in exactly ten days. You can do it in nine, eight, seven, six. Patrick! Six it is then. Plankton has taken over Bikini Bottom and stolen the crown of Neptune, the king of the sea. Everything is riding on SpongeBob and Patrick just because they're the last people left. It's a road movie. Fill her up, please. What'll it be, fellas? Mustard or ketchup? <laughs> they're really struggling with the fact that they're just kids. We're not kids. Open your eyes, Patrick! They're not going to be able to do it. And they're not smart enough, and they're not brave enough, most of all. And I think my character, Mindy, sort of empowers them to feel brave and to believe in themselves. The producers of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie put together a first-class team of animators and actors to bring the movie to life. And for the first time ever, SpongeBob rises to the surface and meets the human race. There's many stages involved on the film. It goes through a very rough animation process where it's literally the directors drawing on post-its. We take uh, the rough story ideas that Steve and the other writers come up with, and we draw them up into the drawings that look like what uh, kids are used to seeing SpongeBob look like. Yes! Yeah! And what makes a SpongeBob SquarePants movie even more unique are the real-life moments featuring yours truly. Today on the beach, we finished uh, shooting David Hasselhoff. Action! Quick, look, duck! He totally gets what we're doing. He gets it immediately, and he's run with it the whole time, so it's been great, yeah. We're standing by a likeness of me on the set of the SpongeBob movie because we're actually using this in the picture. This is a 12-foot, 700-pound David Hasselhoff replica with hair from a yak. We have people who specialize in just laying out into animation and also making it composite so it matches up with this crazy live action world. They were actually pulling me quite fast in a sled across the ocean. Cold, but a lot of fun. Everything has to line up perfectly. The animation, the voices, the, the, the script, the, the rules or lack thereof, and these guys really, really nailed it. The finishing touch to any Hollywood blockbuster is the soundtrack. And to rock SpongeBob's world, the film producers brought in Avril Lavigne. SpongeBob people came to me and asked if I wanted to do the song, and I said yes. The soundtrack also features a new song by the Flaming Lips. I'll be a piece of cheese, Clipper would be a bun. Great script, terrific animation, big name Hollywood stars, and an appearance by me. That's how you make SpongeBob SquarePants movie history. Now, here's an exclusive sneak peek of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Guys? Mm. Oh boy. Hmm. Think, Mindy, think. <gasps> yep, I guess you're right. <laughs> A couple of kids could never survive this journey. That's why I guess I'll just have to turn you into men. You can do that? How? With my mermaid magic. Mm. Shh. Did you hear that, Patrick? She'll use her mermaid magic to turn us into men. Hooray! We're gonna be men. We're gonna be men. We're gonna be men. Good. Now let's get started. Close your eyes. Are we men yet? Not yet. Uh, spin around three times. I think it's working. Good. Now keep your eyes shut. With my mermaid's magic <laughs> and my one tail fin, <laughs> I command the two of you to turn into men. Open your eyes. I don't feel any... Oh, my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache! So do you! Ooh. 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 So now that you're men, can you make it to Shell City? <laughs> 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 Guys, 
Huh? I said, now that you're men, can you make it to Shell City? Heck yeah! Are men afraid of anything? Heck no! And why? Because, because we're, we're invincible! Yeah! Are you oh. It's a long way from Bikini Bottom to Hollywood, but we made it. Our journey behind the scenes of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie is over, but for you SpongeBob fans, your SpongeBob adventure is just beginning. I'm David Hasselhoff. Thanks for watching. Bye.